So we are here with uh, Sofiko Guramashivili, uh, a great chess player, WGM and IM, yeah. and uh, wife of Anish Kiri. Sofiko, how is it going in Tbilisi? I'm always happy to be here and I'm very happy actually that uh, Georgia is um, uh, hosting the event very nicely. I think that uh, the tournament is very well organized, um, the hotel is nice, the playing call is nice and I think that uh, players are very happy as well. And well, I keep my fingers frost, uh, crossed for Anish. <laughs> well, and this guy is being uh, <laughs> quite active as you can see. <laughs> so how old is Daniel? Daniel is 11 months. Very active boy. <laughs> so, Sofiko, how do you manage um, Daniel and Anish, Anish's tough tournaments and your own chess practice? Well, uh, Daniel is a good boy. He is, uh, <laughs> he is very calm and uh, he is always, nearly always, in good mood. Uh, now he's on talkative mood. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's. Uh, I don't see it as a tough, like I manage something, it's just life and I think that I'm living a wonderful life. Uh, and uh, what, what do you think about Anish's uh, chances at the World Cup over here? Well, I, I, I hope uh, the best for him um, because the tournament is uh, quite strong. We, um, we all know who is the uh, favorite and uh, <laughs> it uh, does not need, uh, I, I don't need to say the name, I guess. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, I hope uh, for the best and um, it's actually a very um, tricky tournament in sense that uh, there are only two games and uh, one bad day is enough to be out of the tournament. So um, all these players are under pressure and um, they have to uh, do their best psychologically as well, uh, um, also do their best in chess. And um, Anish's chances, he has, uh, I think, uh, equal chances as uh, all top players. Uh, it's just also a bit about luck. Uh, and um, psychological um, factor and how fit he is. So it's a long tournament and you need lots of lots of factors to win this event. Do you help him uh, in preparing for this tournament? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I help him, I think, morally. <laughs> I, I'm not uh, the one who is uh, telling him which uh, line to go where. But uh, of course, I'm always interested and uh, I um, uh, will always want to know what uh, is he up to. And uh, well, um, so far so good. Let's see how it will go. And uh, how do you think life has changed after Daniel was born? Well, it definitely changed because um, I am uh, like already one year inactive, kind of. So I played like, I don't know, one tournament maybe in uh, Reykjavik. Okay, I played also World Championship <laughs> cycle. That was a big event. Um, but it definitely changed and uh, it, uh, it changed for better, I would say, because uh, he is really the joy of our life and uh, no chess tournament or a chess study can be compared to, to having a baby. Do you plan to teach him chess? Of course, he will uh, know uh, how the chess rules and how to play chess, but uh, it's up to him if he will want to be a chess player or not. And does Anish feel uh, distracted or maybe a good word would be addicted to play with him and <laughs> working on chess seems difficult when he's around? Well, not really distracted. I, I must say he's a professional chess player. If he has to do something, he will do. Um, but he does play a lot with uh, Daniel and uh, so far where we accompanied uh, him, uh, where we accompanied Anish, he played good. So I guess that uh, we are a good support team for him. <laughs> and which language do you plan to teach uh, Daniel? Um, I'm speaking Georgian uh, to him. Uh, Anish is speaking Russian. Um, he also hears English uh, from uh, us. Uh, we live in Holland, so Dutch, of course, will be probably his first language when he will start uh, school, because then it will be difficult to keep Georgian. But I hope that uh, he will be fluent in all uh, the languages I mentioned above. And uh, what do you think are your uh, future plans in uh, chess? Like, wh what are you planning? 
Well, so far I don't have any plans. I just, uh, if I have time, I want to play some tournaments. Um, probably I will play some leagues. Uh, and um, I want to improve. Of course, every chess player wants to improve. Um, and uh, there is always something to improve, especially in my uh, chess career. Um, but so far with this little guy, it's uh, <laughs> a bit impossible. Let's see when he grows up. <laughs> Uh, one question which I had on my mind always is uh, how does uh, Anish uh, read so much? I mean, the point is when you ask him something uh, when it's published on some website, he has read it. <laughs> Yeah, he's a, he reads very fast actually. He, ha he can uh, finish a 200 uh, page book in like two, three days. Uh, and that's, uh, that's uh, very, very uh, like, um, impressive for me because I'm a very slow, slow reader and uh, I need to read everything. But he has very quick eyes, so he's reading everything and he has time for everything. He's uh, working on chess, playing with baby, uh, helping me also. and. Um, also reading some stuff, as you can see. But he does not just read, he remembers a lot of it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he does, uh, he has a great memory. Um, and um, yeah, well, uh, generally I'm also impressed with his memory because um, he remembers my games. He's like, you played this five years ago. And I, I'm like, I have no idea what, <laughs> what was the game and what is he talking about. But uh, yeah, all these chess players, I think all top guys have very good memory and um, they are... But what do you think, this memory, uh, do you think they are naturally gifted or uh, is it like they have developed it over the period of time? Um, I think a bit of both because uh, they, they are kind of uh, naturally gifted as well to have good memory. They are also, um, they... They love chess so much that uh, when you love something very much, you kind of, uh, you're 100% focused on one thing and um, then you remember uh, the things. For example, I remember such things which are definitely not important and uh, it's like, why do I remember it? It's not important at all. But somehow when I was focused at that time, uh, then I'm like, oh yeah, it was this, this number, this number, but I mean, I don't need it in life at all. But when it's about chess lines, uh, then I'm like, okay, what move I have to make here? Do I mix up? Oh, no. It's, yeah, I, I don't know. It's probably women and men, we think differently. Um, women, um, women, we are multitasking, I would say. That we can, uh, I don't, okay, I speak um, for women now, but myself, I can think uh, when I'm playing chess, I can think about uh, everything. I can speak. Uh, I can think about Daniel. I can think about move. I can think about uh, some other uh, not important stuff. And men are very focused. Um, they can think only one, only about one thing. <laughs> when we talk, men only wants to talk about one thing and not to jump here and there. Uh, so that's why I think they have very good memory and they are a tiny bit better than women in chess. <laughs> That's the reason uh, Anish must never be forgetting the anniversaries and the birthdays. And <laughs> yeah, well, um, so far he did not forget any anniversary. <laughs> and I'm hoping he won't. <laughs> Uh, no, actually, you, you should hope that he should because then you can maybe <laughs> punish him. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to punish him. <laughs> um, everyday life uh, as a married uh, person um, is um, so much that you can always find a reason to punish him. So, <laughs> it's very important is how do you find time for each other? Well, we try to be together uh, very often when he is going to um, training. I try to accompany him with Daniel or when he is going to tournaments, we are uh, also trying to accompany because otherwise um, if we stay at home, then uh, it is very difficult because um, then he is playing lots of tournaments. There are uh, lots of training uh, sessions for him and uh, yeah, it would be like um, we don't live together at all and so that's why we try to be always together to uh, support each other and um, yeah we manage it i think <laughs> and uh, last thing last thing that we would like to ask is you are very aggressive chess player 
uh, he like to attack Anish yeah in that respect he does attack but he's more sort of a positional come well rounded player Do you, you know have conflicts uh, no uh, ma- not really conflicts like um Many people told me that I'm a very aggressive player and uh, if they look at me, I, oh, you're smiling so much that you don't uh, look like you're aggressive. You th- I would think that you're very positional, you like to do this and that, and on chessboard you're like, you love to attack and tactics and all this kind of stuff. But um, it's uh, actually not about the kind of a style. I would say that these top guys are kind of universal uh, chess players because uh, if you let them to attack and if you let them to mate, they will mate you for sure. If you let them to be aggressive, they uh, will be aggressive. Just the thing is that when I'm playing a tournament, it's, uh, it's completely different level uh, and I have lots of chances to be aggressive and I have uh, lots of chances to attack. Sometimes it's not that good, but uh, um, I like it, so I uh, still go for it. And um, as for the argument, I, I I don't dare to argue with him because he's kind of whatever I say. I know that I will lose in that argument in chess, only in chess. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I'm quite stubborn. Uh, but uh, yeah, in chess there is no point for me to argue. So I'm like. Once, once I think, once I uh, beat him in a in a blitz game or something, but it was he was making fun of me because he said like, um, okay, let's play. If I win, I will give you one pawn. So he won. I he gave me one pawn. He won again. He gave me two pawns. He won again. He gave me three pawns and then I was like okay this is just ridiculous I went for a fourth pawn and then he gave me to choose like okay take whichever pawn you want so I took like b7 d7 f7 and h7 and I still lost that game so I was like uh, but I I did lose um, uh, by my own will so it was like <laughs> I'm not that bad just player to lose <laughs> four pawn <up. laughs> uh, yeah but um, I don't try to uh, compete with him. It's not interesting. <laughs> and uh, one more question is, uh, you are always wearing the same color clothes, eh? like it's always matching. So is there <laughs> any reason behind it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, no, no reason. I just, uh, whoop, I just uh, like uh, to be one team. And um, well, if if uh, he was a girl, then I would find. Uh, same clothes in the shops, then it would be easier. And uh, he is a boy, so I try to <laughs> wear same colors. <laughs> but no reason. I just like like it this way. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Sophie, thank for you. this wonderful interview. Thank you. Bye bye.